Welcome back, crypto enthusiasts. It's your boy, Crypto Danks, and I'm back with another banger. Today, we're talking about Casplex, KRC20, the Rust migration, and how everything has been falling right into place for Casper to be the next top five, top 10 crypto of this bull run and potentially top three for long term. So Casplex, if you don't know, has been responsible for the KRC20 smart contract development and they are the team behind the first protocol for Casper's ecosystem. As it says here on their website, now, the Casplex is designed as a versatile solution incorporating the data insertion protocol and open source indexer data availability and comprehensive APIs. It leverages Caspa's high block rate, scalability, and decentralized proof of work layer one to facilitate efficient data insertion, address the UTXO bloat issue, and support a sustainable ecosystem this is massive now let's jump right into some information that i've found through a good uh, buddy of mine on twitter x now um caspa enthusiast if you're not following him he's a wealth of information he's one of the leading uh caspa enthusiast as you can see it by his name but also giving out very high quality information um so this is from casplex themselves First, we'll talk about that. So get ready to test and integrate Casplex into your applications on the lightning fast 10 blocks per second test net. Don't miss this opportunity to be a part of the closed beta. Let the testing begin. Now that was May 24th. Now they've been in closed beta. They've had multiple crypto being developed and we can talk about that and show them here. Then you can search through the KRC20 tokens. And these are the tokens that have been built on the closed beta all right so you know there's not much progress i don't know what this page and how it's being updated how it's being followed i mean the deployment time is all around the same exact time 6 26 uh i don't i guess am or pm um 5 24 so the day they opened up and then they've been having a couple more deployment times later on after that but most of these coins that are in closed beta were launched all around the same exact time as uh, soon as closed beta started now we've got a few others also falling into the fold so from caspa enthusiast this is on his page uh 18 000 views so lots of people seeing what this man is putting out um, below you will find a list of projects that want to launch on caspa as soon as krc20 allows it now he's got a list of a few. These are the ones that we've seen being promoted around. Uh, one of them has already been out on Solana, um, looking to build on KRC20, which is Yatoshi. Um, and Yatoshi at the top of the list for a good reason. I know it's been through a lot of FUD. Um, it's had a lot of issues, especially through its launch and, and all of that stuff, but that's gonna be long forgotten once KRC20 is around. Yatoshi's on KRC20 and Caspa and running for a year from now i mean i don't think any of that is going to have any play and a lot of people don't know about yatoshi yet right yatoshi is the conspiracy that yonis and sampolinski is satoshi nakamoto by far the best meme coin project that could be on any chain in my personal opinion the thing is i see the vision of yatoshi and that's what i like the most about it what else do we have here so let's go back We've got Caspa Cats, all right? Caspa Cats, go ahead and give them a follow. They've got 1,500 followers. They've been around actually being built and building their community since last year. Um, they Caspa Cats coming to Discord. Looks like they are either opening that or have recently opened it. So this is another crypto. We've also got Castor. This has been uh, coming across my desk the most commonly. Uh, most commonly, I've seen a lot of people hitting me up like Castor, Castor. I'm gonna tell you one thing about Castor. Castor was built by somebody who just wanted to release a KRC20 token, came up with the concept, and now is trying to make it a community takeover before the coin is even launched. And what I mean by that is that he's literally getting the community to go ahead and run this project so i have the castor 
um, Discord page up. So on the 25th, which was five days ago, Castor Coin founder, he says, Castor Coin goes 100% community driven with what that entails. So from now on, I stay behind the scenes and wait the actions of the community for self-organization. We're going headless from here on out and the community is taking over everything. I've actually been in touch with Castor Coin founder. Um, and we talked briefly, you know, about this entire concept. Um, he's going to give it some time and see what happens with the community. He says that if it doesn't go the way that he wants it to for the community to completely run everything, I mean, you're talking tokenomics, um, you know, it, the entire, you know, website and how everything's developed, where they head and what direction, will they build utility, what, what's going to happen. He's trying to make, it's a very unique approach. I've never seen anything like this. And if you wanted to partake and be a part of their, um, you know, their community and be involved um, in some fashion, go to their Discord. Uh, I'll post it down below and see what you think. Next, we'll move on to Casper. All right, we've got Casper coin, like the ghost. All right, official X count of KSPR is a ticker symbol. Token launch soon on KRC20. Um, so this is another one. They have about 1,500 followers, and that was just this month they launched. So growing pretty quickly. I like that you can do a lot of different concepts with a ghost, right? So a ghost coin is not really something that we've seen or not any that I really have seen before. Maybe you have, leave in the comment down below. If that's the case and I don't know about it, I'd love to see it and see how it performed. But Casper, Caspa, you know, we all know you try to put Casper or Caspa in your text and it always says Casper, you know, with the C. But, you know, this is something interesting and definitely worth keeping an eye on. Uh, could do very well. None of these have been released. Just keep that in mind. And then there's Fusun. All right. Now, Fusun is the only utility driven project that I've seen so far on KRC20 waiting to be launched. Now, the thing is, though, these types of tokens, and, and when I say these types of tokens, I mean these energy saving, you know, power things that these coins, they don't tend to do so well. All right. I've seen lots of these types of cryptos just launch with promises of changing the world and nobody really cares. I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody gives a damn about any of this. Uh, saving electricity stuff. Maybe a few people do, but for the most part, people want to make money. They don't really care if, if you're uh, out here trying to um, use less energy to make us money. Like, I don't think that it's valuable personally. Probably long term, we might look back and say, man, why didn't we do all this with crypto 50 years ago and now? Da, 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 da. But in the meantime, Personally, I don't see how this crypto is going to solve this problem. Energy, poverty, and security. Billions suffer from unreliable electricity affecting growth and healthcare. Outdated grids are vulnerable to cyber attacks, risking vital services. Okay, they're going to solve this problem? I don't know. Eco damage. Reliance on fossil fuels and nuclear power poses health and environmental risks contributing to climate change. If you've been paying attention to the way the world works, it's basically driven off fossil fuels. For you to get rid of fossil fuels being a main reliance, you're going to have a rude awakening. Energy waste and outdated infrastructure, obsolete technology, inefficiencies, and transmission losses increase costs by 40% and hindered the transition to green energy. Billions lack access to reliable and affordable electricity. Now, they're talking about actually building a grid um, that's built around block DAG and D pins, right? So here, uh, here it is. So by fusing, I'm sorry. Okay, so by fusing RWA D pin power grids and block DAG by CASPA, we are setting new benchmarks for sustainability, equity, security, transparency, and efficiency in energy access. Fusun Labs is pioneering fusion energy inspired by our sun for a limitless shared and powered future together with our collective strength. We're trying to make a green future a reality. I don't know. 
you take this for what it's worth. It's an RWA play, a D-pin play, and a energy saving play, renewable energy, whatever. Um, so they also will host an energy trading platform, I believe, right? Let me see. Energy, yeah, where P2P, peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, renewable energy conversion, and storage empowers you to lead, not follow. Um, but check out the site. It's fusan.org. And maybe you can rethink energy on your own time. Finally, Nacho the Cat. Besides Yodo, this is my personal favorite. I think that this one will do extraordinarily well and has also been blessed by Shay, uh, Shy, excuse me, Shy to Shay, um, saying Nacho the Cat posted on the 27th. Dad's approval is something I've always worked for. It means the world to me. Thank you. And then Shy said, me too. I believe that this coin uh, has the potential to be the lead uh, animal coin on uh, animal meme coin on KRC20. All right, so I just wanted to run through those. Now, another thing is that we have the Rust migration moving over all the way to 90% plus of nodes on the Caspa mainnet, which are currently Rust. Buckle up everyone, Cass has a bright future ahead. Mining share, go versus rust, last 600 blocks. You can see that it's 91.17% rust nodes. Gotta love it. This is a huge benchmark. I mean, not just a month ago. It looked, I think it was a month ago we were at just trying to get up to 10% and past 10, 15, 20%. Look, we're almost at 100%. Once we get 100%, that's going to change the game. Now, after that, you'll hope that it's going to be able to operate the 10 blocks per second for everyone very efficiently, and everyone will be running their nodes off of Rust. All right. So that's important to go ahead and get everything um, up and coming and moving forward in the right direction. You can check through the Caspolytics website and you can keep track of all of the stuff that's happening the Rust migration, the difficult level, the hash rate, everything. All right. So if you're not uh, on this website and you're a Casper holder and you want to find out more, you can always look at this website and it has pretty much everything you need to know about caspa so i hope this video shed some light on what's going on with caspa casplex krc20 and everything that goes into it i'll see you in the next one like subscribe hit that notification bell thanks for watching to the end i'll see you in the next thanks he in the trenches pushing up numbers calling bench presser stacking up bits no time for the cheaters all day got young cloth on the speakers he trades by day, moonlights by the ledger Buying low, selling high, no one does it better Blockchain's heavy, but his wallet's never tethered Dodging them dips like bad weather uh. Uh. Pockets deep like the coin mines digging No fud here, his hands never wriggling Dollar signs in the eyes, sight so keen Watch the market move, keeping his slate clean. Master of the trades, the exchange is bloody ground. The candlestick walks and his beats is laid down. Linked to the future with a blockchain bound. A crypto king wearing his digital crown. Crypto dank stacking coins to the ceiling. In the coin base where he's steadily dealing. Steadily dealing. Steadily dealing.